Ah, so you clicked on this video because you're thinking about Las Vegas. And you probably want to know some of the top local favorite restaurants here in our hometown. Well, you've come to the right place. So grab a snack and a cocktail and get ready as we share our ultimate guide to the top local restaurants here in Las Vegas. Not to mention some of our favorites. Hey, you guys, so tonight we are dining at what many consider a hidden gym here in Las Vegas. That's right. Quite a few locals have asked us to try this place out. And we are. So we are dining tonight at Herbs and Rye. Let's eat. So right now, basically, they would have half price options during happy hour. But now half hour has been extended basically from opening until close. So right now, 5 from 5 p.m. until 3 a.m., it's basically happy hour here, which, which means many of these items, including all the steak items, are half price. Yes, and they're the ones that actually have the double stars next right. to them. So if you're looking at it from the appetizer portion up until like the entrees, if they have those double stars, that means half, half off. Now, what we did learn as well is that is also going to be until further notice. So yeah. they haven't, you know, due to COVID and everything else, they really haven't come up with a date on that. So as of this video right now, it's till further notice. Yeah. I like that. That is awesome. There's a lot of good stuff on this menu. Oh, this is gonna be a feast. Cheers. Well, this is agua, but we do yeah. have some old fashioned on the way. Coming, yeah. <laughs> so our salads and our old fashions have arrived. But before we dive into this, I just wanted to mention something about the menu that we really thought was interesting. So there's a, a very specialty, you know, sort of cocktail menu here that tends to focus on different eras and different things such as a gothic age or a prohibition you know era and uh actually there's a rat pack era there was something special on that right well, apparently uh the pina colada must have been uh began during the rat pack era which i had no idea i didn't either so. and that was between 1958 and 1968 so there's a lot of cool things on this uh, we actually got a, a good sense that the bar is supposed to be a really top-notch uh, bar and the bartenders are some of the best here in las vegas so we're gonna try this old fashioned and we'll let you know if that's the case. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's time to try some of these salads, too. I think so, too. It's time to eat. It's time to eat. <laughs> yum, yum, give me some. I do love that it's like in, it's kind of like all in house, like the anchovies yeah, are really oh, kind of yeah. blended into the dressing. Nice romaine lettuce, the croutons. Thank you for the cracked pepper. And I'm gonna, you know, I, I love like Caesar dressing, so I'm gonna use it all. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all I'm, of it. I just wanna scoop it out. Right, so we'll we'll skip it out. <laughs> I may have to. We'll have to see. do that with the bread. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And it's funny when you come here, when you drive up and it does not look like anything special. No. Or you drive up and it's like almost like it's sitting in like some kind of strip mall space or something. But you come in here and the whole everything changes. Mm. It's like a different world. Absolutely. And that is dynamite. That is absolutely delicious. I'm sorry, I couldn't wait. I smelled that dressing. Mm -hmm. mm. That is nice with the cracked pepper. That's the good. romaine tastes fresh. The dressing tastes in your face. It's so good. No spice to it. Yeah, I like well. the dressing. Right. Dressing is very good. Mm. I'm really kind of a big fan. I'm kind of liking the whole, the whole vibe. Yeah. The croutons. Oh, that is yummy. That's really yummy. There's a nice spiciness to the uh, dressing with the cracked pepper. Exactly. Right. I like that. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Yum yum. Give us some more. Woo. Mm. I just dipped the bread into that dressing. Yeah. Woo That's good. Delicious. That's good. Delicious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I have to say, this is definitely one of the best Caesar salads I've had in Vegas, for sure. Oh yeah. Right? But oh I'd say yeah. I this and Golden Steer. Yes. This are two amazing Caesar salads. Delicious. Yeah. I'll drink to that. Mm. That's how we just dance to that. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Cue the music. <laughs> no music before? No. <laughs> <laughs> You are gonna have a 16 ounce right. ribeye. Right, it's not that even is normally bone like, in. Not even bone in, yeah, that's normally $67. So that's a big old good chunk of delicious meat for $33.50. That is a good deal right there. What? That's, that's crazy. Yeah, this, is a, this is a great ribeye. This is a, 
probably one of the best deals. Is one of the best deals in Vegas for mm -hmm. sure. So, looking forward to. I mean, if the food coming after this is anything like what we yeah. just had, heaven, heaven in the corner. I'll oh, sleep right here. It's dark enough for it. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Babe, this ribeye looks and smells amazing. Now, I got it cooked medium because that's how I like it. And uh, I actually got the herbs and rice spice rub. It's supposed to be very spicy on the side because I wanted to try it. I was worried about if I had it rubbed on, it might overwhelm the steak. So I'll try the steak, a little salt and pepper to start, and then try some of that spice rub. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, that's going that's going away. That meat's going away. So <laughs> So your steak definitely looks amazing, but I am loving the way this pork chop looks kind of on that bed of mashed potatoes. It's got this giant sort of rosemary sprig and the, the figs. I think the best way to try all this is to put it all together in one bite, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Cheers. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is really, really good. It's definitely something special. I don't know if you like it because of the blue cheese. Yeah, I don't mind blue cheese if it's subtle. It's like it's really strong. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's kind of not super subtle, yeah, so, but yeah. it's, it's actually subtle. I think you might actually, since you said that, but it does have a really nice of flavors. I love the fig on it. It kind of adds a little bit of a sweetness to it. The pork is tender like you would not believe. And those mashed potatoes are just dang delicious. Nice. Amazing. <laughs> what do you think? And I say this uh, ribeye perfectly seasoned. Um, I put nothing on it. It came out just the way it came out and it's good. It's, you can taste that. Uh, might just basically salt and pepper right now. I'm gonna definitely try some of the spicy, the uh, herbs and rye spice rub. But isn't that good? Nice flavor. That is. This is gonna be like so delicious. Now hold on, you gotta try this. Okay. I'm, and I'm gonna give you all. Of, you have to try with everything. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I love the, the pork is amazing. Incredibly tender. Isn't it tender? I didn't lo I'm, I'm not. I'm not loving the fig sauce. It's a little sweet for me. Mm -hmm. But the pork is unbelievable. And actually, that blue cheese doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother you at all. Yay! Incredibly moist, tender. Nice dish. Yeah. I know. I'm really feeling wow. it. I'm ready to just dive in. Yeah, so am I. Absolutely dynamite. You cannot go wrong with the pork. If you like pork, this is definitely tender. I love that it's on the bone too, which helps keep that tender vibe going, you know, when it's on the bone. Absolutely. No, it's, a, it's an amazing, amazing piece of pork. I gotta say, I just tried the herbs and rice spice rub, and that is spicy. spicy. <laughs> that is spicy. So if you're getting that, if you're putting that on your uh, steak, Make sure you like spice. It's definitely spicy. And make sure you have a big thing yeah. of water. Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Might want some of this mash to cool it off. Now oh, we also got the <laughs> I'm ready. I am ready too. That uh, truffle mac and cheese looks pretty good. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, you want to jump in there first? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna have some of that mac oh with the uh, steak. Truffle mac and cheese. Mm. Oh wow. That is good and creamy. You have a little bit of the mm. crunch from the breadcrumb on top. It's pretty good. Yeah, super creamy. And not it does not overpower you with a strong flavor. Very kind of mild flavor. And maybe that's a truffle in there as well. Yes. It's uh, It has that smooth, creamy, smooth flavor to it, consistency. Mm -hmm. What he said, that's delicious. We're eating. You would probably love that mixed with I think your, this with the steak, the steak is going to be great. I think we chose well tonight. Oh, yeah. You know, it's funny, when we walked in here, right? Yeah. It was so dark, because it was so bright outside. Like, I couldn't even see my hands from my face. Yeah, yeah. And now, like, you're in here for a while. The atmosphere has kind of changed, and the eyes have adjusted. And the decor is so cool. Little, little velvet I know. wallpaper and all around. No, it was very true. We came in, came in here, it was still it was sunny outside. When you come in here, it's like, yeah, it's so dark. I felt like you were going in to have a kind of dinner in the dark. You put the dinner in the dark. <laughs> but your eyes adjust. This 
is heavenly. Now, this is something that's on the dessert menu. It's sort of their homemade donuts, and it comes with two sauces. You have a white chocolate sauce and a caramel sauce, but you can ask for the dark chocolate sauce, which is what we have right here. Exactly. Are you excited? This smells uh, so delicious. This is awesome. And you can really tell the pride they have in the food here and the chef. I mean, everything is made in-house, fresh. They just made these donuts, and uh, they look awesome. They smell awesome. And they're I'm about excited. to taste awesome. And I'm excited for that dark chocolate. Jump right in there. And they're warm. They're nice. Oh my God, so warm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is so good. Mm. These are amazing. You can take it. What do you think? They're just so light, right? And uh, they're not too sweet. No. Right? And the warmth, it just they kind of melt away in your mouth. And I love the dark chocolate with it. Let me try the caramel too here. I'll tell you, I love the crunch of the sugar. You're right, it's not yeah. too sweet. No. Nice layer of sugar. It mm. almost reminds me of like a, at a carnival yeah. with those uh, like twist sticks. Yeah. With that kind of sugar on it and the warm. Exactly. Oh, so good. Kind of that like fried dough or whatever they have mm -hmm. there. It's like so good. Uh, I'm ready for a nap. I am stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> I am so stuffed. Well, let me ask you. Sure. So, what did you think of this place? Well, what did you think? Okay, I will say overall this place was spot on. The food was absolutely delicious. Love the fact that it has this local vibe, this really sort of intimate atmosphere. I liked it. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, this is a great spot. Definitely a hidden gem here in Las Vegas. Highly recommend checking it out if you haven't done so already. All right. Well, wow. Well, think, look at this. I'm surprised. I had no idea I was going to be in a strip mall this sort is of as feel. Strip center as strip center gift. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Vanessa. Hi, hi Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, we go. Woo. Yeah, I'm Dave. Oh, hi, how are you? Tanya. Hello. Yeah. Hi. So everything is made from scratch. <laughs> yes. So you will see what I'm talking oh, yeah. about. That's awesome. Okay. Wow, oh, Brian, thank you for the lovely surprise. Absolutely. This is wonderful. Gosh, I know. Off the strip. Yeah. Off the strip. Off the strip. I mean, off the strip. can you yeah. imagine? It's a local favorite, though. Yeah, you think about, you know, where do people that live in Las Vegas go? Yeah. I rarely go up to the strip to eat. Yeah. Um, you find all these little places all around, and it's, uh, they become favorites of yours. We're in your hands. Uh, well, you want then, me to surprise you? Then I defer like to Vanessa. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> she is always <laughs> taking care of me. Uh, I'll surprise you guys. We love Absolutely. surprises. Okay. Let's work it out. <laughs> We're in good hands. So cheers. Cheers. Well, cheers. 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 Great day. Great, day. Absolutely. Great meal. We're about to find out if this is going to be a hidden gem. Yeah, so that's, that's absolutely right. I see right. what came out are some of these nice chips and yep, salsa. Absolutely. And it looks like it's an in-house salsa, homemade. Mm -hmm. And of course, if they taste it and it comes out on this table, that means it's approved it's by the chef. It's got to be approved, stamped. All right, y'all. Yeah, so let's, let's give it a taste. Shall we try this? Sure. Let's give it up. Come on. All of us <laughs> grab a chip and dip. There might <laughs> be a spicy one. There might be a medium one. I'm not sure. but All right. Well, this is a surprise. We'll, we'll know. Ooh. <laughs> oh, is that a spicy one? <laughs> a little bit, not too, not too much. What? <laughs> I think we hit a spicy one. That is definitely a spicy it's one. Spicy. I like it. Good though. Mm. I like it. I love the name of this place too. Mm. 
pick it up, but this is wonderful. I mean, you definitely have the kick, mm -hmm. you know, from the salsa. It has, um, I like the runny side of it, which mm -hmm. means it's really kind of fresh versus that tomato oh, yeah. texture exactly. that you'll get the chunky. Yeah, the chunky. Right. Really the chip nice. is really nice too. What do you think, Dave? I think it's great. It tastes really fresh. I mean, up oh, hey, there, everybody. <laughs> do the, do the <laughs> lead. Do the lead. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. No. What do you think? Tell <laughs> me what you think. <laughs> it tastes really fresh. I mean, I agree with you. It's just, uh, just the fact that it's homemade is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, just really good. And uh, you can really tell the difference between homemade and kind of that store bought. Absolutely. I agree stuff. with that. It's really good stuff. And I love the kick on it. And the kick, right? Yeah. So, Brian, tell us. Same thing. I like. Uh, you know, before a meal, I want something light. Mm -hmm. Not a big fan. I, I appreciate, but not a big fan of like chunky, chunky sauces. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my goodness! My goodness oh boy! Okay, you gotta tell us. Tell there us. We go. Tell us a little bit about what is in this deliciousness. That's a, a feature. Oh. A soup. It's a Mexican soup. It's a traditional one from Guadalajara. Mm. Oh. And uh, it's carne en su jugo. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you so much. Thank Wonderful. I'll okay. give you this in a second. Okay. Thank you. We have homemade tortillas. Corn or flour? Yeah. Corn. Corn, of course. Only corn. She's like, mm-mm, corn. Mm -mm. Okay. Perfect. Oh, Thank you. gracias. Wow. wow. And this is an item I've never had. Wow. Uh, uh, I've never had, so. You heard it. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so this is really, really a treat. I mean, uh, it's yeah. just. That's what we love. Coming that's to a place big old bowl. It's a big old bowl. It's got the rich little the beans in there. Mm -hmm. You got the little pieces of, of beef in there. Yeah. You love that with the uh, oh, the, the onions, yeah. the radishes. It's got, oh, and of course the of course pepper. The pepper. That, that take a trouble. bite out of that. That's going to be trouble. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mm. Okay. You want to start, Dave? I think you should start this one. All right, yeah. Mamati's going to start with this one. <laughs> I think this is absolutely delicious. I mean, every texture mm -hmm. from this dish hits your mouth. The 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 broth, which is a really nice broth. The beef just kind of kind of brings it all together with the radish and of course that spicy kick and the cilantro. Woo! No, it's so good. Really brings it on home. I absolutely think it's nice and there's a nice amount of portions of oh, beef yeah. in there. There's no chance nope. in the beef, the beans, the avocado. I think it's really wonderful. Whew! All I know is, <laughs> good <laughs> golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, Brian? She's like, you're kind of finishing that thing right up. I am, going, I am going at it. <laughs> I agree with everything you said about the textures. Um, this is what fresh tastes like. This mm. is what fresh tastes like. You know, and I think we've all had stuff that wasn't fresh, we've had canned stuff, we've had, there's there's a substantial difference when you taste something that's absolutely 100% fresh. You really taste the beef in that too as well. Mm -hmm. Just a really, really rich dish. It's amazing. Yeah. I could just have this for a meal. Exactly, yeah. you know, yeah. a, a nice meal. big pot of this yeah. with some of those nice corn tortillas. Oh yeah. Oh. You just start. You just start cutting. Wow! I'll tell you, it was an interesting surprise. Mm -hmm. The second dish coming up, it's actually a fish, and they call it a muhara. Brian, I want to hear what you think because you really dive into that one. I mean, no. you, are, you already got down to the bone. I'm loving it. Gonna get past the cliche, you know, when people say like, "Oh, that's too fishy." Mm -hmm. This is just flaky. <laughs> too fishy. It's, it, it's not too fishy. Mm -mm. Uh, head on, tail on, everything almost looks like it's like some sort of like deep fried because mm -hmm. the skin on the outside right. is really tasty. Mm -hmm. And we each got like a variety. I mean, yeah. we've got one that's more of a peppery, like yeah. a shrimp, all shrimp based, but then you're on, on top. But then I had something with a little bit more of a pineapple mm -hmm. kick there. And Dave, what did you Yeah, get? mine's more of a garlic mm -hmm. flavor as I well. I smell so. that rich aroma. Right, oh yeah. Here we go. That's the way to eat it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put in the tortilla, yeah. blend it all together. 
That's the way to have it, really good. It's really nice with just all the... The, the fixings. Yeah, there's all the fixings in there. Just, the it kind of blends it all together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's really good too, right? You, so there's like a, mm -hmm. a lot of limon or lime, um, which is really interesting, kind of because of that bite. Yeah, I like the salad. Isn't that really nice? Yeah. So it tastes, ah, you're working that fish. There we go. Yeah, I don't know where this little guy came from, but. Yeah. But we know where he's going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Brian, what do yes. we have next? Well, this uh, from Vanessa, the owner's mouth, this is what people come for. So I'm really ah. excited about this. These are uh, two different types of enchiladas, two different sauces, but uh, you have your traditional uh, mole poblano, which mm. is the, the darker sauce, and then you have a green uh, mole. Um, so done two different ways, but again, this is uh, from Vanessa's mouth. This is what people wow. come for, and this is what makes them feel like they're back home. Oh, I yeah, love that. It's exciting. One of All right, right, here we go. All right, guys. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Mmm. Mm. It's incredible. Yeah. But it's funny, you think, I think chocolate, I think it's gonna flow, like be so chocolatey, but it's not the same type of kind of Hints. strong chocolate. Um, exactly, yeah. it's more of a hint of it that yeah. actually works really, really yeah, well. No. It's an, just an amazing sauce. Ah. There's like a smoky flavor yeah. in there. Yeah, it's smoky. Yeah. So we wrap things up with a delicious Mexican coffee and three desserts, Mexican flan, fried ice cream, and of course, chocolate-filled churros. You know, it's meals like these and great company that make hidden gems like this worth discovering. So, Brian. Yes. What do you think? What do I think? What do you think? <laughs> Brian, we yes. definitely want to say thank you for this awesome treat. I mean, it's My been pleasure. really exciting to kind of enjoy some of the local food experience here in Las Vegas outside of the Strip. Yeah, And this absolutely. happens to be one of your favorites. It is, and absolutely. Wow. Oh, this is absolutely a hidden gem. You're, you're definitely spot on with that, so thank you so much. My pleasure, my pleasure. Welcome to Kitchen Table, you guys. So we're definitely excited to check out this place here. It, it's a, a small sort of family-owned style business with Chef Javier, who's inspired by his mom. It's a really cool spot. Yeah, no, very cool spot. Definitely a local favorite. You know, Tiny and I love this place. So this is a, we've been here before. Yes. But this is our first time filming it. I wanted to share it with you in yeah. Henderson. Yeah. Uh, you know, about maybe 15, 20 minutes outside of uh, downtown Las Vegas. Worth a visit though. Oh yeah, they have exceptional lattes. Now they're breakfast, lunch, and brunch. So the hours really consist of like eight o'clock in the morning to two o'clock in the afternoon. But it's a hot, fun spot. You got outdoor seating if you choose. We're sitting inside just because of the noise out there. We want to make sure we kind of bring you guys into this experience. And they've already dropped off the menus. And the lattes, are on the way and I they come in these like beautiful cute big mugs delicious it's time for some coffee yeah mm. Mm. okay there is nothing about changing positions get a little more intimate that I can just relate to so we kind of switched up a little bit to bring in a little bit more intimate while we uh, enjoy these coffees right and that first sip of coffee always is awesome oh, right it's so awesome right but one thing about uh, this place I think we should talk about it has a kind of a Texas influence to it which uh, we used to live in Austin Texas for those that may not know and so we love kind of some of that Texas vibe and chef Javier grew up in El Paso Texas 
big influence from his mom, of course, in his cooking, and it shows yeah, up in the menu. Absolutely, and uh, you can't go wrong with uh, mom's cooking, but Chef Javier also kind of has a lot, some culinary experience. Oh, he's lot. worked around different parts in Las Vegas. One was the Golden Nugget, so he's bringing some of that culinary flair and some of mom's cooking here, and that's probably why we enjoy it so much, because of that Texas flair and mom's flair. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> absolutely. Do you know what you want uh, for breakfast yet? I do. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, I do. I think I have maybe an idea, but uh, yeah, what, what do you think? about? I am thinking of the tacos huevos. Yeah, I just that's gonna be filling. It's great for this like early morning, you know. And we like getting here early, so that's why it's like pretty empty because we're like one of the first to be seated. But it's just, I don't know. And we've had them before. We've had before. And they're good. <laughs> and I'm gonna go for the same thing. So uh, it's gonna be a little tacos huevos kind of morning, I think. Bye, taco tacos. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so change up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I did. So what are you getting? Yeah. So I switched up. I'm going from the tacos huevos to the chilaquiles, and it's another one of their really popular dishes. And our waitress, she kind of convinced me. Now she said the portion sizes are big, which is one thing I did forget. They are right. pretty oh, massive, yeah. so we can kind of have a good amount of the tacos huevos. And a good amount of chili yeah, I love it. and split it. So. Yeah, it's, it's more more to try. So yeah, sounds I love good. it. Give me a kiss. Mm, love you, babe. Anytime. I love you. <laughs> Well, that looks pretty awesome, babe. It's amazing. Right? Oh, man. I love how it's served in this cute bowl. Right? Yeah, and that looks really good. It, it does look great. And I can just, I mean, that, like, right there, that little uh, sunny side up egg, that's going to kind of just flow right over everything so nicely. Yeah. You want to switch? Um, no. Do you want to switch? <laughs> <laughs> Just that but, description. But if you want to, if the you way like you're to. describing it is yeah, almost like you're like good. you went right to this one. So that's sunny side. Hang looks up. good. You kind of but of course right you over. know I'm gonna share with you. Oh yeah, so we're, we're gonna, gonna share this too this for together. sure. So you're def definitely having at least one of these. I am. I am. I, I love kind of what's in that one though. That looks really interesting. Yeah, it's uh you know it's quite simple like scrambled eggs, potatoes. Looks like there's maybe some um, pork like bacon fat pork in there fat. potentially as well. Uh, there's definitely some salsa, some spicy homemade salsa. Yes. as well is on this. Might put a little bit more on. Then there's some crema on that, some avocado. I mean, it looks good. Yeah, and this got this one is just, it's like packed full of goodness. It's got the creme, it's got like the sunny side up, the braised pork, it has the uh, Oaxacan cheese, um, which is really, really nice. And it's just a whole assortment of good yes. flavors going on there. You can kind of just smell that aroma. And of course it has this sort of salsa arbol that's on the side. Yeah, it's that homemade salsa. Now I tried a little taste of it and my mouth is still on fire. So you yeah. already have some on there, so you might want to bite into it before you try it. I think but. that's good advice, but I may just put a little more on it, just, just for the fun of it. Get ready what for this one, Should I do that? Get just ready for, for this one. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> um, this, you can try this one if you'd like. I don't think so. I don't think so. We'll see if I'm like smoking crazy after this one. <laughs> I just put a little bit on there. Should be fun. Uh, I'm gonna break this egg. Let's yeah, see you break the egg, yeah. Give me one second. Let me show you how this kind of melts in there. We're gonna pan to camera number two. Did you see that? I did see you that. See how that egg just kind of oozed itself on down the line. That was very nice. <laughs> was that was very nice. nice. I like how you put it. That was good. Thank you very much. But look at that pork. Right. Everything just seems to blend so nicely. Now the chilaquiles is interesting because they get really soft. Yes. But you also get like a small, tasty bit of a little crunch that goes on from the outer layers. I really haven't touched any of the. Uh, right. So you get a little crunchiness, yes. a little blend. Look of at it. that cheese. All right, here we go. Oh, you're like that. Oh my. Oh my word. Uh, coming at me. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Nice flavor. Exactly. That has a lot of nice flavor. The pork is really, sort of the beef, sorry, the braised beef. Um, sorry, braised pork is really, really tender. Mm. Really nice. I love the flavors. You have like the green sauce that just kind of comes out of it, um, which is the most popular here is that green sort of tomatillo sauce. Mm -hmm. And I love the egg flavor that just kind of adds yeah. to it and a little bit of the crunch from like the tortillas in there, right? Yeah, nice spice in there too. I feel a nice spice. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm. Another bite? Okay, baby. One more. All right, try that. 
Mmm. 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 You ready? Mm -hmm. let's, let's, do it, let's do it for the people. One. What am I doing? Thumbs up. Oh. <laughs> One. Two. Woo! <Boom. laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yeah, because I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna see nervous? how hot it really is. Okay. Oh, I like the cabbage. Yeah, well, that's like really all that cabbage, cabbage in there too. Yeah. Out of it. All right, go for it. There we go. You're gonna need the plate. There's a lot of uh, a lot of sauce on this one. What do you think? Mm. Mm. This is what I think. I think it's an amazing taco. It's, it's like super creamy. Everything kind of, I think with the avocado in there, that, uh, that creme and, uh, you know, everything just blends together so nicely. And it's really not, I'm feeling the spice, but the salsa is great and it's actually just the right amount of kick for me. Yeah. It is very good. Highly recommend this. Yeah, yeah. I like it too on that corn tortilla, right? It's got, yeah. I love that. Like breakfast taco kind of vibe in the morning with the dual corn yeah. tortillas is great. I definitely love the crunch. Like oh yeah, the these guys. Yeah, I don't have as much of that. Yeah, uh. it's just it's got a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna put some on there because it's got a nice little flavor to it. The yeah. red cabbage kind of crunch. Um, you definitely taste the egg. Yes, and the salsa are bold on here is just enough for me. It's spicy. I will say that it is kicking it is up. Like I, I feel it more and more in my mouth now. Okay, I am stuffed. Oh, I am so stuffed. Okay, well, let me ask you. Sure. So, what'd you think of this place? <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> <laughs> Again, we really enjoy this spot, whether it's sitting outside under the umbrellas or just in, inside. It kind of has a great little social atmosphere. I really enjoyed my food, and it really is like 15 minutes outside of Las Vegas, so just right in Henderson, Nevada. Exactly. If you want to get away from the strip a little bit, it's well worth the trip. A great spot for breakfast or brunch, right? Open from 8 to 2, so just keep that in mind. You know, our, uh, I think it was like 15. Yeah, the taco um, was, was 11, 11. and chilaquiles was 16. Yeah. But you can see how much of that portion size you get with that. So just overall a, a great fun spot to, to check out. So we are very excited about tonight, you guys. We got a phone call from a very popular food tour company here in Las Vegas called Lip Smacking Foodie Tours. And they've invited us to check out some of the downtown restaurants we do not want to miss. <laughs> and you all know we love to eat we're excited to bring you some of the local favorites downtown. Yeah, but right now we need to change our clothes and get ready to eat. You ready to rock? I'm ready. Let's rock. Welcome to our downtown Lip Smacking Foodie Tour. I'm Donald, I'll be your tour guide this evening. I'm the president of Lip Smacking Foodie Tours and we're gonna go to the best restaurants in the Fremont East District. You'll get to enjoy the signature dishes at each one and a signature cocktail along the way. First up, Carson's Kitchen on East Fremont. Just look for the John E. Carson Hotel. Johnny Carson? <laughs> now that's funny. And the donut bar. And you know you're close, as the only sign for this restaurant is in the window. Are you ready to start? Vita. I'm ready to be. Vita. All right. Me Follow me in. There we go. Here we go. We were totally ready for a tasty treat, especially when you see what's going on in the kitchen. So these uh, dishes never come off the menu. These are their signatures. This, uh, they go through 50 pounds of these every day. They're chicken skins. They're wow. crispy chicken skins uh, with served with smoked honey. I'm gonna dip it both ways. Uh, I don't, I'm just gonna roll there that. There you go. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god! Nice flavor, it's soft. It has a smokiness to it once you bite into it. And of course the sweetness from the honey really kind of brings it on together. Mmm. You're gonna like this. I know we were talking about fried chicken earlier. I think this satisfies the fried chicken. Wow. Without the meat, just the skin. The healthy stuff. And a little honey. It's not real. Oh look at that honey. Oh my goodness. Is he doing it right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here we go, ready? That's really good. <laughs> mm. I never really had anything quite like this, but it's um, very light, uh -huh. surprisingly light. And I tell you, that smoked honey is amazing. The flavor in that, really good. Brings it home. This is good. I give it a thumbs up. Absolutely. I'm just gonna just. So veal meatballs, uh, they flash fry these, so they're gonna be a little crispy outside. Nice. Moist, tender inside. It's tossed in a sherry foie gras. All right, Dave, we'll do this together. There we go. Hey, let's do it. I'll give you one that has a lot of good juice yeah, on it. I like that. Cheers. Here we go, Beth. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Mmm. It's incredibly tender. Yes. Right? It kind of melts away in your mouth. Really good. I love the sauce on there. With kind of that faux gras as well. Ooh, that's uh -huh. really good. That's my jam. That's your jam? Yeah, back away. Back away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you, just because we want to eat it while it's hot. That's a great start. <laughs> okay. I, I, need, I love that. Let me say, wow. They certainly don't hold back on the options. We also had a delicious beet salad, a refreshing cocktail, and a unique spin on deviled eggs. The deviled eggs, they topped with uh, caviar. Oh, wow. I got you. you ready? Here we go. Here, go. Here we go. Mm. It was really creamy. It has a meaty flavor to it. Mm -hmm. There's only one problem. There's only one? <laughs> exactly. exactly. I think he knows this too well. If you couldn't tell from all the laughs and the thumbs up, we were definitely off to a great start. All right, time for the next part. Up next, it's time for a little therapy. Once home to a 99 cent store, this popular spot has been featured on the Travel Channel for one of the dishes we'll be trying tonight. Mmm, looking forward to that. Oh, and if you haven't done so, go ahead and take a second to hit that like button. We'd greatly appreciate it. Specialties here. So, our uh, specialty is a red velvet chicken and waffle slider mm -hmm. with uh, shredded lettuce and remoulade. And it comes with uh, maple syrup. And then we also have our fried mac and cheese bites. That's our other specialty. Uh, for you today, we have our devils on horseback. It's a almond, or rather a date stuffed with almonds wrapped in bacon. We also have for you a nudie on a cr um, cranberry crostini, a chicken meatball with a spicy cilantro pesto. So we are excited about this next spot, you guys, therapy. Now you guys know we spent a lot of time down here on Fremont. As a matter of fact, we just did like a pizza battle down here. We Some did. of the battle, the best downtown pizza. Well, evil pie versus, evil pie versus pizza, pizza rock. rock. That's right. Oh my goodness, so this is exciting. We've walked past this place several times. We had no idea this was gonna be a part of the tour and I'm excited to dive in. All right, you know what? You know what I'm they gonna... say about food? It doesn't taste good when it's cold. I'm gonna dive right in. This? I'm gonna dive right in on this guy. Yum yum, give me some. Here we go. Mm. It has a really kind of nice smoky taste. So I think it's the pesto. That breaded texture in there, really good. The pesto is amazing. Also, the meatball kind of crunchy too. Nice crunch of the meatball. Very tender. But yeah, the pesto really stands out. I didn't really taste the jalapeno quite as much. I didn't really taste a real hot spiciness to it. We really enjoyed trying some of Therapy's signature dishes, chicken meatballs, in the nude, and devils on horseback. Not to mention, that drink called the Smash was very refreshing. But of course, we were looking forward to the Travel Channel featured dish, the chicken and red velvet sliders. 
let's just dive right in. I'm ready. Are you gonna dip it in your sauce? Or are you gonna try? I'm gonna I'm try, gonna try it without the sauce. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is gonna be messy, folks. This is real messy. And that is so good. What do you, what do you think yeah. of that initial first bite? Yeah, I really tasted the red velvet yes. waffle. The red velvet really came out strong. I can't explain it. It's one of those things where you just know everything works well together. It has definitely like a, a buttery, you know, sort of texture to it. The chicken is really nice. I'm sure this is gonna change the dynamic. Yeah, it's I gotta like try a, that. Yeah, it's like a vanilla maple syrup bourbon. Oh. There we go. There we go. They're making a mess. Look at that texture, though. All right, here we go. That's like dessert mm -hmm. and dinner all wrapped into one. It's true. I feel That's like ice cream sandwich. Right? With chicken. That blended with this whole, the red velvet. Nice real sweetness to it. Exactly. It's got a real nice sweet taste to it. Sweet and delicious. <laughs> Just like my husband. <laughs> Final restaurant is one of the newer restaurants downtown. It's at 7th Street and Carson Avenue. It's called 7th and Carson, so follow me in. We're excited to give this a shot. Best salads in Las Vegas. Best salads in Las Vegas. Award winner here in the house. We like first, salad. we're gonna try a little. Carson Cooler. Yeah. Ooh, I love right. the glasses of the Carson Cooler. Really nice. Oh, some awesome. absolute Gaelic vodka. Ooh. Really nice stuff. Blood orange, yep. thyme, cucumber, lemon, lemon and lime. honey. Let's nice. do it. Here we go. Mm, really taste the blood orange. That's really refreshing. Super, so refreshing. That's nice. We wasted no time diving right into 7th and Carson's signature dishes. From their curry patsy, award-winning grilled pear and burrata salad with burrata, arugula, pear, champagne reduction, and toasted cashews. The delicious potato gnocchi with braised short ribs, kale, mushrooms, and shaved parmesan. And of course, we could not go the night without having some delicious desserts. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty stuffed right now. I am stuffed too, but you know. What do you think? I think it's always room for that second stomach. You know what I mean? That dessert that stomach. That dessert stomach. I think so. What do we got here? Some uh, oh. lip smacking dessert for you. Oh my goodness. Do you hear that? That was planned. That was planned. That was a perfect that timing. Mm. My goodness gracious. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my god. Wow. So the uh, donuts actually made next door at Donut Bar. So it's a oh. local company. Oh my goodness, yeah. Uh, then we have, it's tossed in uh, sugar cinnamon, then we have the uh, caramel banoffee. It's a Ooh. sliced banana, house-made caramel, caramel uh, pastry, and uh, banana layered throughout. Finishing off dinner with these desserts was literally icing on the cake. But there was just one more local's favorite downtown Las Vegas hotspot we just had to see. <laughs> Downtown Cocktail Room, or as the locals call it, DCR, is a downtown Las Vegas craft cocktails bar favorite. They don't even have a door out front to find it on Fremont. You have to enter through the alley. And we were told they make a mean cocktail, and we were ready for one. What we have here is our Miracle on Bourbon Street. Uh, it contains Evan Williams, which is our um, whiskey we have here, our bourbon whiskey to be precise. Uh, we also add Zerbenz. Our house made orange simple and just a few dashes of Angostura bitters. We also add in there the orange swath is um, has clove infused and we light that on fire. Wow. Mm. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready to light some mess on fire my insides. <laughs> this is your jam. This All reminds right. me of a reminds me of a Manhattan. And I love the smell. How's that? Oh my it's smokiness. gonna make that clove, the mm. orange. It's, mm. it's perfection. Well thank you. And You're this is perfection. Welcome, thank you. So here we go on to the next spot. 
What a day we had here trying three top downtown Las Vegas local favorite restaurants and crafts bar. You know, we felt Lip Smacking Foodie Tour felt a bit more than just a food tour, but a Las Vegas experience. How about the door? Ooh, we need Mama Cita. All right, Cleaver, butchered meat, butchered seafood. Meat. All right, and it looks like we got Hot a mascot. Tails. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, by oh. Chris Farley, I love it. Look at the tie. Wow. He's <laughs> by the river. Exactly. <laughs> van down by the river. Well, you'll have plenty of time to live in a van down by the river when you're living in a van down by the river. Wow, so this is really neat. I love when you kind of walk into Cleaver. You know, from the outside, yes, it's got a little bit of that eyesore because of the fact that they underwent the fire. So Definitely, the construction's yes. Going on. When you walk through, it really feels like Herbs and Rye, but a little brighter, right? Big time. Oh yeah, and same kind of experience too. At Herbs and Rye, you come into the, the park and area, you think, where, you know, is this place really good? Yes. Right, it doesn't seem anything special. Then you walk through and you're in another world, and it's absolutely true here yeah. as well. And also when you look at the menu, like the drink menu, is so it kind of goes through the history of the drinks it's like that prohibition vibe yeah right? very similar to the herbs and rye menu uh cocktail menu items as well now we did order sort of the the old-fashioned but here they have a little bit different takes on those old fashioned. so yeah you're getting what it's called like fancy free yeah fancy free right? which is basically like an, a take on their old-fashioned exactly and I'm getting the one that's called cock and bull <laughs> well that sounds interesting <laughs> i also too love when you come in you got the big painting to the right of us here which is Chris Farley. Yes, I mean, Chris Farley. What a legend comedian. We love Chris he looks, Farley. He looks very regal. He looks regal down right? the van, down by the river. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I'm starving. It's all the challenge on what to get though. There's so many choices. Everything sounds really good. I know. Right and our our waiter did a wonderful James. job. James yeah. is explaining everything to us so thank you James. Very yes. good. There is a you know, happy hour menu from 5 to 8 p.m. You have Happy hour. Now, everything's about half off, right. but it is discounted. It's half off at Right, time. exactly. Exactly. So, uh, what are we going to start with? All right, so we are going to go with James's recommendation as well as uh, Jessica's recommendation. They both kind of agree the steak tartare here for an appetizer is going to be really, really good. Now, that's one of the ones uh, for the happy hour prices, which is from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Anything that has like the double cleaver next right. to it, cleaver, is going to have a, a special price next to it. So traditionally the steak tartare is 26 bucks, but you're going to get the same portion size for 14 bucks. So right. I'm looking forward to it. Kind of see what's got going on there, some capers and different things and a really their spin on a steak tartare. Yeah, no, that's going to be great. Well, cheers to a great night. Another fun evening here, checking out some of these local fun spots here. And this is definitely a, a spot that needs to be put more on the map. It's beautiful inside. Yeah. The staff is amazing and friendly. And the drinks are dynamite. So cheers for a great night. Yeah, absolutely. Another great find. Ah. Mm. That is smooth and... Mm. It's good stuff. It was like saying, yum, yum, give me some all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Looky, looky, Captain Cookie. This is a very different take on a steak tartare. Yeah, not what I expected. I'm, no. I'm used to kind of big like mound of like steak tartare, steak tartare, right? Exactly. Like at uh, Bazaar Meat, we got like a huge mound of it, right? But uh, this is amazing. Very different. Excited to try it. I'm gonna make a mess. <laughs> Me too. I, mean, I got plenty of capers on this one. All right. Cheers, cheers baby. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. I really like this take on steak this take on steak tartare. The flavor is unreal. It's almost like a, a steak pizza. I don't know how to explain it. I know. The cheese and the capers and the tartare, everything blends nicely in that sourdough bread. It's dynamite. Right. The tartare is usually not my thing, but this is very good. It's funny, it looks heavy when it comes out, but it doesn't it, it doesn't taste heavy, mm -hmm. right? The bread is very light. Everything's quite light on it. So it's overall, I think it's very good. Nice flavor. It's kind of set the tone for the night, but not be so heavy that you're stuffed by the time your entree comes. Exactly. That is dynamite. Off to a good start. It really is. I'll drink that. Ah, 
salad. Nice. Time for some salad. And what's nice about these appetizer salads is they're built for two. Yes, they're they are. They are very, yeah, very good size. Very healthy size. Right. So I'm gonna dip you out some, or you wanna dip your own out? Oh, hey, be my guest. You got it. Baby. Thank you, baby. Give you some of those Parmesan chips afterwards, and so don't get them sunk in there. Let's give it a shot. Nice kick of the pepper. I taste the Parmesan crisps, yeah, which is nice kind of flavor added bonus to it. I'd actually eat some of that, yeah. The croutons are really nice, super crunchy, mm. nice and fresh. You do have that anchovy kind of vibe coming through yeah. the uh, Caesar salad, which is nice. It's nice to have that Caesar salad anchovy built into the dressing. I'm not a huge fan of the raw anchovies because I just think it's extra salty, so it takes away from right. the flavor. But it's really good, and I agree. It's going to need a little bit of extra dressing. Well, extra dressing. Pour it, baby. Pour it on! <laughs> those anchovies baby <laughs> they're well, like they diving did. into those well, things they did sneak them in i like tanya them. is grabbing those anchovies like going them. after them with a vengeance they, they taste like real anchovies. yeah they look they look they look like real anchovies and i can tell you it tastes like they've marinated them in like lemon juice it's so good you want to try it absolutely not <laughs> Wow, so this is unbelievable, babe. Now, dinner is served. There's a lot going on here. Oh. Including the additional dish that James brought out said that we have to try this, which is sort of the, uh, I think it's called the squid ink pasta. Oh, wow. It's like this dark pasta. They have all different kind of flavors going on there. Look at this. Uh, look at the lamb chops. chops. Unbelievable, that risotto. I know, wrapped around in like a pool of like the cherries. Yummy. This is, of course, the uh, ribeye and a uh, little kind of crispy Parmesan on top. It looks like scallops, it but it's not like scallops. scallops. It's crispy Parmesan, a little balsamic kind of spread over. Now, this is very different. Normally I'm just salt and pepper on the steak, but I wanted to give it a try here because uh, James highly recommended it. I like it. So give it a shot. And that street corn. Yeah, street corn is very cool. You go wrong with street corn. There's a lot of street corn there. That's yeah. a lot of street corn. And right. that's a lot of potato. A monster baked potato with some real thick bacon thick, in there. I think that's bacon. I'm just yeah, it's, it's like one the, the, little, the one that try to get away. Right, can't get away. All right, let's dive in. Mm. Mm. Wow, that is so good. There's so much flavor going on. I don't even believe you know where to start. The lamb tender, the risotto is super creamy. But the sweetness from the sauce of the cherry. It's really delicious. You can smell the garlic in there and the, the butter. That's a delicious lamb chop. I gotta say, this steak, a great cut of steak. I mean, the uh, perfect cut, very good. And it, yeah, definitely more going on than I'm used to, but it's great with that crispy Parmesan, the balsamic all blended together. You would, you would love it. That looks good. I'll try some of that maybe before my next bite. Mm. Everything, I gotta say, everything's very rich. Mm -hmm. Right, so be prepared to kind of really uh, fill up here because everything's super rich, flavorful. It's very good. Mm. It's very good. I would say it's a little salty. Mm -hmm. A little strong on the salty side. But the flavors are mm -hmm. delicious. All right, so before I get really heavy into this lamb dish, right, I, I definitely want to try this pasta that he really raved about. They brought, they brought it out here for us to try. It's like a but squid it, pasta, you yeah, said, right? Yeah. It just looks so delicious. Or anchor. Is that squid ink? Yeah, squid ink pasta, I believe. Yeah. You know, twirl it like a... You got to twirl it and swing it. And yeah, swing it and twirl it and dip it and pull it. There we go, baby. Cheers. Mmm, mm. pasta is so fresh, right? It kind of melts away a little bit in your mouth. It's bacon. Yeah, bacon in there. There's some bacon in there. 
There's so much flavor in there. You don't even know where to begin. But all of it together is dynamite. Dynamite. <laughs> Always room for dessert, right? Well, you can make room that second stomach. Yeah. Dessert stomach coming at you. I got something that was sort of like this passion fruit, um, really kind of sorbet-ish vibe, and you end up getting... Well, of course, the uh, chocolate lava cake. So, chocolate lava cake. Which they're making special. Yeah. It takes so, like 15 minutes. Exactly. So I think before we get the dessert, we should go check out this place. I heard it's got some really cool rooms, so we're about to get a tour. You ready to check it out? I am ready. Let's go. I'm so What do you think, babe? Wait, this place is huge. It's massive. Yeah, I didn't realize how big it was. It is absolutely and, huge. And the fact that he says it, it can get packed in here. Right. Oh. All right. Dessert is finally here. The highlight for me was that uh, Bill Murray painting, though. That was pretty I cool. I know. I know. That's super cool. Right. The highlight so. for me is this dessert. Yeah. I got sort of a sort of a passion fruit with a coconut. Um, meringue, very sort of, as Jessica, the general manager, put it, very refreshing. So I kind of like that idea of kind of refreshing my palate after that delicious heavy food. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks very cool. Of course, I got the uh, chocolate lava cake, which they actually make up for you. It took about 15, 20 minutes or so. Made to uh, order. Made to order with a little bit of a, a Mexican chocolate. Yes. Was that a little vanilla ice cream? Yes. With some uh, kind of Oreo cookie crumbs in there. It's a little blackberry and maybe some, is that mint? So you get a little bit that, of bitter, yeah. you get a little bit of sweet, you get a little bit of yum. A little bit of heaven, <laughs> pretty much, is how I like to think about it. I love it. This is great, great lava cake, perfectly cooked, kind of explodes. I guess good and just a nice mixture with the Oreo and the vanilla. It's great. Yeah, same, I love it. same with this. It's, it's, it's exactly that. It's refreshing. You know, that meringue really has that nice creamy, you know, fluffy texture to it. Um, and the passion fruit, it's like a really cool combination. I'm literally, for once here, I am speechless. Mm. Moment of silence, please. Dang, that's delicious. That's right. <laughs> Wee. Okay, I am so stuffed. Oh, I am so stuffed. All right, so let me ask you. Sure. Well, what'd you think of this place? Well, what did you think? Okay, so overall, Cleaver, this was spot on delicious. The service was great, the food was great. It's just an absolutely great atmosphere. Tonight we are dining at the oldest steakhouse here in Las Vegas, a place that we have been dying to try for quite some time now. As a matter of fact, some of y'all recommended it as well. And that's right, if you want old school Vegas, the Rat Pack. Elvis and even Muhammad Ali have all dined here. Uh-huh, that's right, baby. We are dining at Golden Steer. Let's eat. Wow, that is so cool. The moment you walk in, you really do feel like you're in this throwback old school Las Vegas experience, right? It's like the caricatures all over the place. Elvis Presley, Joe DiMaggio, Marilyn Monroe, Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Oh my God, 
<laughs> now this place is awesome, totally old school. I mean, we're in Joe DiMaggio's booth, guys. Joe DiMaggio's booth. So. But he is not, he's actually, he feels much better sitting with Marilyn up front. He's, with, he's in Marilyn's booth. But at least you got me. That's right. <laughs> I'm doing just fine. <laughs> Cheers to a man. great night. Mm, that's good. It's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a good, good night. night. Golden Steer was established in 1958 and has so much history. Now one thing right away that jumps out at you are the menus. They actually give the history of the steakhouse right at the front, which I think is really cool. But it just it just goes to show you that little classic touch to make a paper menu a collectible. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, hey Elvis! Elvis! Uh-huh. What are you having for dinner? I'm having a prime rib dinner. Having a prime <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, it's Elvis! So we've already placed our order. We are definitely looking forward to tonight. Now there is a special going on. We're doing the tomahawk steak served for two, which comes with their Caesar salad, which they're gonna prepare for us at the table and two sides. This is a classic here at the Golden Steer. Tableside Caesar salad. They've been doing this, you know, probably since 1958. Yeah, just watching them as they prepared it right in front of our table. I was oh. trying to catch on to see if I can make that at home, but he did it so fast, I would miss a step. Well, One step I probably would miss is the anchovies. Just saying. No, just you, saying. You, you gotta have the anchovies, guys, right? You gotta have the anchovies. Well, we shall see. Let's do it. Yum, give us some. Mmm. Mm. That is really very good. Yeah, that is a great Caesar salad. Mm. Yeah. The garlic, the mm. oil, the pepper, the anchovy. Yeah, I love that anchovy flavor in there. Perfect. to it. Very good. Oh, that is and wonderful. And it's not, sometimes you get Caesar, it might be a little dry. This is not dry at all. It's really perfect. Oh. Are you ready to eat? Because it smells uh, so good. Oh, I am ready to eat, absolutely. I mean, it came out looking fantastic, mm. ready to go from the plate. In my mouth. Ooh, right off the bat, tender to the cup. Very tender, yeah. Juicy. And I didn't put anything else on it. This no, is like not straight, yet. Straight from the kitchen. Here we Cheers. go. Cheers. Oh, I like that, straight from the kitchen. Mmm. Mm. Incredibly tender, juicy. Really cooked very well. If anything, it's a little bit more on the medium rare. Yes. In the medium. It's a really thick cut. Mm -hmm. Right, but it's excellent. And lots of flavor. Lots of flavor. And you really taste it's really just salt and pepper on there. Yep. Right? So a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Not not over the top at all. Love it. Yum yum in the yeah, Kind of melts away in your mouth a little bit. Just like that. Yeah. I really do like that. Yeah. And they bring out a little extra salt too if you want to add a little salt. Mm. I'm going to add a little bit of salt tonight. Mm. It doesn't necessarily need it. No. But I like things a little bit saltier. We have to say, this tomahawk steak was spot on. Even adding a little extra salt and those sauteed mushrooms really brought the experience to the next level. Just delicious mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like they're full of flavor. I'm going to try this double baked potato too. Taste some bacon bits in there. Very light, light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. I like that. All in all, so far, very good. Dynamite! Dynamite. Well, we had to get it, guys. The lobster tail. The lobster tail. And this is quite the lobster tail. That is. It's Australian lobster tail. And it's very good size. It's no a doubt. really nice yeah. size. So I'm just going to do what I do best. Yeah. Dive right in. Yeah, looks good. Mm, little lemon. And since this awesome surprise popped up again, I'm gonna have you have the first bite. No, no, no. You gotta have the first bite. No, no, no. You're gonna have the first bite. You're gonna have the first bite. You gotta get that butter sauce. Oh yeah. Ready? I want you to wear it. That's cool. Right, I don't wanna wear it either. Mm. From what they were saying, the Australian lobster has a little bit more flavor, a little bigger. Mm. 
got good flavor. Nice I like flavor. It better. Yeah. Yeah, mine, mine was a little bit more kind of, uh, you know, it, it was stringy or something. It was, it was like I was chewing through. It wasn't quite as tender. Um, but I think it may have been the end piece as well. But uh, the flavor is great. Well, that's you know, why I got you one. Good. Right yeah, next we'll try this to one it. too. Yeah. Oh, mix it up. I gotta mix it into that butter sauce. Yeah, I gotta get the butter sauce. <laughs> Here we go. Feed me. You got it. Mmm. Mmm. So you're right. So getting away from the end different. piece yeah. is very different. It was our first time having a jumbo Australian lobster tip, and it was quite good. It definitely took us a little bit to adjust to the texture, but the combination of the flavors and the butter sauce was mmm, mmm, good. One thing you'll notice at the Golden Steer is that the service is excellent. They're very attentive, always making sure you have what you need. Mm -hmm. And so thumbs up here to the staff, great job. And many have been here, some have been here for 35 years. All right, y'all, it's time for dessert. Hey, if you haven't done so, take a second to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And please give this video a thumbs up. We greatly appreciate that. And thank you. It smells amazing. The way they prepared it was incredible. Right table side with the flame. I know. Awesome. Please, I don't want to get it on you. Yeah, here we go. I'm coming in. Kidding. Ooh, there we go. Like that. Nice move. <laughs> I just yeah. wanted to make sure I took one for the team first to make sure you yeah, you gotta, like it. Yeah, you got to test that. Make sure. Here we go. I think you'll love this. Mm. Isn't that really good? It's nice. Yeah, the it's flavor of the banana. Of course, the vanilla, that contrast. It's good. Well, that says it all. The presentation definitely complemented the wonderful taste of the bananas foster. Now, there's just one thing left to do. Turn, Turn it, it up, up world. world. Oh. Woo. Woo. I am <laughs> so stuffed. Oh, I am so stuffed. Well, let me ask you. Sure. So what'd you think of this place? Well, what did you think? Fun, fun, fantastic spot to come to. The classic old is steakhouse in Las Vegas. The atmosphere, the energy was spot on, and the food was delicious. It's definitely one of the best steak experiences here in all of Las Vegas. I am starving. I know, we are super hungry and this place You're just so has funny. that classic old school right. Vegas feel. It's really amazing. People are incredibly friendly and accommodating too. So, so far off to a great start. Yeah, like the moment you walk in, you just see this incredible decor. You can uh, see the history. Um, you can see some of the new, some of the old, all the pictures of the celebrities that have kind of dined here oh. is incredible. Yeah, no, there's nothing like it. And um, the Tisa's actually, it was uh, founded in 1970, going yes. all back by an Italian immigrant who came to uh, New York City, I think in what, 49 or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was Batista Locatelli. Yes. Right. He came to Vegas to be a fam he wanted to be a famous singer, Law. but instead he bought this piece of property behind the flamingo and opened up uh, Batista's hole in the wall. Yeah. And here we are today. And here we are today. And the menu is quite simple, kind of showcasing yes. some of those Super great simple. Italian dishes. But I love the fact that you get the free wine. That is like just yeah. You gotta see. I mean, look at this. Flowing and delicious. There you go. Red or white. House wine on the house. Already started. I mean, it was crazy. Part of the part of the package. I love it. So, what do we do? Have a toast? Oh, let's do it. I let's think we should toast. pour some red or white, my dear. Red, please. <laughs> and as right. they say, salut to a great night. I'll drink to that. Hey. I say, I love you. Love you. Mm. Mm. So, hey, one of the things I noticed about the menu here, too, is it's got like six different options. So, what comes paired with that free house wine included in the dinner, as well as like the soup, salad, or you can pick one of those options. So, there's yeah. six options to choose from. 
ranging from uh, basically $23.95 up to $42.95, which is nice, you know what I mean? Which is great. And then, of course, if you want to order some sides, you can get like a side of meatballs for $9.50. So it must be giant meatballs. <laughs> exactly. No, I think it's great, though. I mean, you have everything kind of comes included, the whole meal from soup to nuts. And if you have any issue looking at this, menu. There's menus in every room on the walls here as well. So you can find menus everywhere. Yes, there are. Yeah. Actually, it is the same menu that's been here for quite some time in Days Right. They're scattered everywhere, smacked on all walls. It's so <laughs> cool. So if you can't read this, just look up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, well, look at how it's already starting off. I ended yeah. up getting the sort of the house salad. All the great things in there, some black olives. It's got the banana peppers. Looks like there's some meat up in there. Yeah, that looks good. Dressing. That it's amazing. definitely looks good. I'm a little jealous, but I gotta say the minestrone soup looks very good as well. It's supposed to be homemade, so yeah. looking forward. I might throw a little uh, grated cheese on there. That's a might good idea for you. I already cheese have enough up. cheese on mine. There we go. All right. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Fresh. I love the salami. Of course, I gotta round it off with them. A little banana pepper there. Mm. It's perfect. And it's just enough, especially since you're gonna have like this sort of entree coming as well. Right. Yeah. Um, it looks great. That's dynamite. Very it good. It looks great. And this soup's excellent too. Really does taste homemade. You know, mm. it tastes fresh, homemade. Doesn't taste like you know, you're getting some kind of process. Not stuff. from a can. Exactly. So good stuff. All in all, good start. Yeah, and it's definitely. I forgot to mention the dressing on here is perfect amount. You know, I'm not a big person to drown it in dressing. Right. So this to me has a nice sort of combination of the dressing and the different flavors that you got going in the salad. So thumbs up. Thumbs up. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I keep eating. You know, the, there's one thing I noticed about this place. It feels like a hidden gem. You oh, know, yeah. it's kind of right behind the monstrous flamingo. And it just feels like this more local kind of vibe. So you come in, it feels like the staff, you know, really kind of knows what they're talking about. Yeah. They know they know what's on the menu. We kind of mentioned what we're getting for food. Chicken Alfredo, her eyes lit up and said I was going to recommend that. And then you're, you know. Yeah, just, no, I love the personalities. The personalities yeah, are wonderful. Absolutely. And I feel like you could spend all day just, like, looking at all the photos and the Vegas memorabilia and oh, history yeah. just on the wall. And we would just look around and it all has this combination of things that he's probably collected. You know, we yeah. tend to notice that, you know, these restaurant owners that are old school, this is kind of their hub to be able yeah. to I mean, you look, their at, junk. You, you just look <laughs> on the ceiling, there's like these old like kind of baskets everywhere and crazy things. Everywhere. It's crazy. It looks like, and also that's where they used to collect the grapes for like the wine <laughs> crushing. Right, that's probably true. <laughs> I'll drink to that since we got an unlimited amount right. of that. Keep it rolling. So cool. There are so many different like celebrities that have been here. Let's just see if we can recognize a few of these on here really quick. One, I already do. Night Rider. Oh wait a second. Look over here. Is that some like a hot guy? Oh no way. You're right. Oh my God. Old oh, school, look at that hair. Nice. What a collection of like right, patches. Very cool. Like different than police, police offices, like yeah. smaller place, Brooklyn Center, San Antonio. Oh my God, Nicolas Cage up there. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. And of course nice. down here you got John Wayne. Oh. <laughs> There's the famous hair, funny yeah. haircutting scene. There's Dean Martin getting his hair cut. Getting his hair cut. Connie Stevens. Rodney Dangerfield. Oh, man. <laughs> the food has arrived. Yes. And it smells really good. It came out really fast. Yeah, it came out very quickly. Now, it's not super busy here tonight. You know, it's a weeknight, yes. and uh, so service has been very fast. Absolutely, yeah. but it smells delicious. There's one thing I'm going to request from you. Oh yeah, what's that? That cheese, please. Yeah. Bring the cheese. Cheese, please. Now I got the chicken alfredo, and I, I love chicken alfredo. So right. this will be a good, good nice kind of good simple, test. simple classic dish. And I actually got the linguine and clam sauce, another Whoa. kind of classic dish. And just give it a try. It smells and looks great. So. It does. And of course, you got to have the garlic bread. Yeah, I got the garlic bread That's here nice too. Garlic bread. Mm. Garlic bread. I'll take one of those because that looks yeah, looks amazing. good. Give that a try. 
Look at that little roly poly. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Wow, that is very good. Like I almost thought it was gonna be really Alfredo y. But it's a nice flavor. While you're working on getting that shell out of there. Ooh. Sorry, trying to find the shell. <laughs> oh, timber. Sorry about that. You can cut that. Never. <laughs> no, never. I need the chicken's nice. A little dry, for sure. On certain parts. The, the sauce is nice, the Alfredo. Yeah. It's not too overpowering. So it has a nice kind of um, nice temperature to it as well, not super hot. And I love the cheese. So I like it. Yeah, it's good. I like it. And this is a nice dish too. I did get a little shell in there. Oh, so shell shop. Got a little shell in the linguine. <laughs> Uh, but they're whole clams. I've kind of minced them up there. Uh, but they're good, so I'm looking forward to it. Gonna keep on diving in. Try to avoid some of those shells. Quite a meal. Yeah, that was right. So everything. So our meals were thirty two ninety five. Yes. Thirty two ninety five for each. Yep. Uh, with everything included. Now, with the exception of dessert, you do get this nice cappuccino, which is kind of like dessert. Yes, but I had to go with the spumoni, and it's going to be delicious. I mean, I just feel like when you have like a cappuccino, you want to have like a nice piece of dessert after that delicious heavy pasta meal. <laughs> right. Exactly. I think we should have a sip. Cheers. Let's see if I can. Uh, Get one of those Got Milk commercials. <laughs> got something. <laughs> got something? You got a dirty stash. Can I borrow your napkin? No, you can borrow your own. <laughs> Wow, this looks delicious. It does look so, good. I don't know what the layers are, but it looks like there might be like a chocolate and a pistachio, and it looks like a chocolate chocolate bottom and a wafer bottom dip with kind of like a, yeah. where you have chocolate glaze on the bottom and of course more whipped cream. Exactly, why not? Let's do it. dive on it. Yay. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's like a strawberry. It's a strawberry. Bob layer. It's like strawberry, right? With pistachio, and a chocolate, and a chocolate with a little kind of crunch, a little crunchy wafer chocolate on the bottom, and a wafer. Oh my yeah. gosh, there you so go. good! You know, you always have that room for like the dessert stomach. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it's wide open. Mm. Woo! You know, kind of a simple dessert, but. But excellent. Yeah, and just so you know, this is four ninety five. So you get a really nice piece of this bimoni and it's delicious. Yeah, not bad. I think it's bimoni. It's bimoni. It's bimoni. <laughs> it's bimoni. <laughs> Look at it. It's a, a bimoni. Woo! Okay, I am stuffed. <laughs> yeah, you're not stuffed too. Well, let me ask you. Sure. So what'd you think of this place? Well, what did you think? say our experience here at Batista's Bone Raw was a lot of fun. The food was good. I really enjoyed myself. Yeah, no, absolutely. If you want kind of that old school Vegas vibe, this is a great spot. Plus the food, kind of that classic Italian fare. Absolutely. And it's nice because this is sort of hidden gym, a little bit off of the main strip, yeah. right? And I feel like it's a local vibe. A lot of locals love this spot. You can see them coming in talking and I just feel like it's a great ambiance for sure. We're in for such a great treat this evening because we are headed to what was recently voted the all-time best steakhouse in Las Vegas. That's right, the steakhouse at Circus Circus Las Vegas. And of course, we built up such an appetite because we want to make sure we give this place 
a good review. So we are starving and I think it's about time we hit the road. You ready? I'm ready. Let's rock. Welcome to the Steakhouse here at Circus Circus. We are so excited. I mean, the moment you walk into this place, it is exciting. And it was voted, what was that, David? Uh, this was voted, it's been voted many years, yeah. best steakhouse in Las Vegas. But, but this year it was voted best all time, time steakhouse in Las Vegas. So this is just the cream of the crop. Yes, and walking into this place, it really does feel like this throwback sort of spin here elegant and beautiful the decor is outstanding we met rod the manager general manager here and he's been here 35 years incredible just incredible and uh many of our fans have said hey you gotta go check out yes. this great steakhouse at circus circus so we are here for you and we're excited yes thank you. thank you guys so much for the recommendation we are dying to try this and of course we're starting off with a few of their choice cocktails now being that this is sort of a throwback to uh i don't know that feels like that old school vibe steakhouse vibe we're gonna leave it in the hands of our waiter and he's gonna pick out something I'm sure strong. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I'm so excited. Turn it yeah. the world. Now oh, yeah. these are Manhattans. Uh, recommended by our waiter, Felix, who's phenomenal. Very knowledgeable here, by the way. And so we basically got two versions of the Manhattan. If you're familiar with Manhattans, you know what a Manhattan is, some vermouth. Uh, cherry um, has a, obviously it's gonna be bourbon based. So right. you have what is called the old fashioned. The old right fashioned now. on the rocks. On right? the rocks, yes. a little orange zinger on the top of that. Mm. Let's give these a shot. Cheers. Cheers. Let's do it together. Mm. Let me tell you, they don't chance on that bourbon. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> it's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a great night. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Give it a mm. shot. See what you think. I think I might like this one better. Okay. I think you might. I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> Literally, it's very old school here in terms of the approach to the menu. Yes. Right. So every steak comes with a potato mm -hmm. and a vegetable. But before that, let me just yeah. mention, it's a very basic menu. And oh, it's very. A, it's not a lot on the menu, yes. but what it has is outstanding. Exactly. I mean, the menu is basically just a piece of paper, two-sided. That's it. And that's it. That's so it. very simple. No need to change what's already perfect. Right, like exactly. exactly. Right, so very very straightforward. And one thing I will let you know, these steaks, you guys, are big. You know, yes. they can be pretty big steaks. So they do not have a problem with you splitting it, which is kind of what we're going to be doing this evening, kind of splitting that steak, because I don't know if I can eat a whole steak by myself, just saying. <laughs> exactly. This is not like, you know, you had a spot where it's A5 prime Wagyu or something where you're getting three or four ounces. Yes. This is a good sized steak. So again, thank you guys so much for that. Yes. And I will say this, now the prices are not cheap. And I'll say it's not cheap, but it's still a great value. At least what we've heard, it's a great value for the quality. So we'll, we'll test that out. It's all about that quality. Right? Kicking things off with an appetizer, we're going for the grilled garlic shrimp. Four jumbo shrimps cooked on a mesquite charcoal grill. Mmm, mmm. Right, mamma mia. Okay, so I'm Ooh. really excited about this. I love just looking at the shrimp. It has that nice sort of charred edges around. I love like, the charred edges. Right? And you can oh, yeah. smell that it was like definitely on a grill. It's definitely mm. grilled to perfection. It smells so good. From what it looks like. Time to stop talking and start eating. I know. Eating. And start eating. <laughs> I'm hungry. Here we go. Let's <laughs> yeah. do it. And they're really nice sized shrimps. Ooh, uh, they dip. are. I'm going to dip. I'm going to dip with the best. Hopefully that's okay, but it's going to have to be. These are serious jumbo. Wow, these are definitely jumbo. Yeah, here we All go. All right, here Ooh. we go. Ready, here we go. All right, I got a plate, so I'm gonna make a mess as usual. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that is really, really good. I'm still chewing, guys. This is a jumbo shrimp. It's they really are jumbo. really, really good sized shrimp. Mm -hmm. Really good. You really taste the char too. That the grilling, you really do. nice. And when you dip yeah. that in the butter, of uh, the garlic butter sauce. I love how it has like the crunch on the uh, 
the shrimp as well. Yeah. And you can definitely taste that that mystique grilled flavor that's coming from like the grill up there. I mean, it's it is perfection yeah. at its at its best. That's I good. really love it. I love the fact that they're so massive. Exactly. But we're married, so you can double dip. <laughs> oh, absolutely, double dip all the way. Oh, what? Mmm, it's good. That is really good. <laughs> So tonight we are getting the bone-in ribeye. Mm. Yeah, looking forward to that. It's going to be amazing. Now it's sixty-nine dollars, but you also get your choice of a super salad and also your choice of potato as well. Yeah. So what we decided to do because we're getting one steak and splitting it, we decided to go for an upgrade. Now an upgrade uh, is about twenty bucks. So this way you can have a split. I can have salad. He can have the soup, or he can have the salad, and I can have the soup. This is the black bean soup. Mm. Uh, looks actually really, really nice with some nice ground uh, pepper in there. Oh, I love that. Also some uh, red onions on the side mm. and some sherry, which I'm not really sure about yet. So I'll probably put that in after I try the initial black bean soup. So I end up getting what is more of their traditional salad here. It's nice because it's got a lot of things. Looks like it has those nice little sort of cherry tomatoes of various colors in there. Some beets and of course our waiter Felix suggested going with a little bit of that blue cheese crumble which would pair really nicely with the Italian vinaigrette. And we're told this recipe has not changed in 30 plus years. So it's got to be some pretty darn good black bean soup. If it hasn't changed for 30 years, right? it better be amazing. Exactly. I'm sure it will be. All right. The blue cheese really does bring home the flavor. Now, when you think blue cheese, you think strong, potent. Right, no, I do too. Blue I, think, cheese. I think really strong, yeah. No, not at all, actually. Wow. As a matter of fact, what happens is the beet in there tends to soften the, wow. the, the depth, the strength of that blue cheese, and it almost adds a compliment flavor. So you taste all the different things going on in your mouth. It's just it's spot on delicious. And I gotta say, the uh, black bean soup, is really nice too, really fresh. It's not too thick. Sometimes black bean soup can be really thick. Really? It's not too thick, but it's really, really creamy. You know, the red onion's nice as well. Yes. I've not tried the sherry. I'm just gonna pour that right in and give it a shot. I think you should. Here we go. Now this is gonna be interesting. That looks amazing. All right, here we go. Give it a shot. You gotta try this too. I here will, I definitely Ready? will. <laughs> it's called my name. Mm. Wow, you definitely taste the sherry. Yes. It is good. Nice kind of contrast too with the uh, the black bean. So this is really good. This is really good. But I cannot wait for the ribeye because there's a surprise coming, Tanya. Really? There's a surprise coming. Now how so, do I not know about this? I don't know, we'll see. So while we wait for our delicious ribeye on bone, let me just tell you guys, we had to get the sauteed mushrooms. They're $10 and that's gonna complement the ribeye right. so nicely. Right, we asked for it to be delivered with the ribeye. Delivered. Right? Not as an appetizer, so we wanna have those mushrooms with the ribeye. With the ribeye, oh, I mean, yeah. it's like Amazon. It's gonna be on top. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Dave. Yeah, so the ribeye has arrived. And keep in mind, we split the ribeye, so this is cut in half. They're good size, good size portions. <laughs> yes. Perfect for us. And we had a surprise for Tanya. We actually got the broiled lobster tail as well, because Tanya loves her lobster tail. I do. Yes. I am so, what a magical surprise. Yeah. I mean, thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> right? Thank you. All right, All right, here we go. Should we try this together? Oh, sure. Let's Sounds do good this. To me. Oh, my. And I end up getting one that has like the bone, yeah, you the, got bone the bone inside. On that. Yeah. But it just cuts right through. Nice, oh, so fatty, and tender. And it looks perfect. We asked for actually medium. Medium. Medium, medium rare. And it looks really nice. Nice yes. little red in there. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Wow. That is wonderful. Each bite, you have the nice chard on the top. There's not a lot of seasoning in it, but it's perfect. You have the meat that really kind of enriches the seasoning. The taste from the mes mesquite grill, delicious. What do you yeah. think? No, you nailed it. This is perfect. You, you taste that mesquite grill. You right? do. Really on that, just so good. And you're right, it's not overly seasoned at all. So you really taste 
that uh, ribeye. Great, great, great ribeye. Really good. It's a perfect amount of fat, too. There's one nice thing about the ribeye. Mm -hmm. They have nice fatty pieces, which have so much flavor in them. And we love that. When you kind of flame that over the uh, mesquite grill, it's perfect. 100%. Well said. So Felix actually suggested to the uh, sautéed mushrooms. Right. So I am definitely dying to see what this is going to be like. Oh yeah. I'm always dying to try something. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. It's so wonderful paired with them. So Felix, great job. Yes. So again, thank you so much for the surprise. I mean, I, and it was a surprise. Like I had no idea this was coming. Yes, well <laughs> right. done. So I'm gonna cut you a piece. And since you got it for me, I'm gonna let you take the first bite. Oh, Isn't that wonderful? So I'll, I'll get to the one closest to you so I don't okay. have to I'll try to lean make over a mess. so I can get all over my shirt. <laughs> Which I can do fine just myself. Oh, you can. <laughs> yeah. mm. Sop up the butter. Sop it up. And soak it in butter. Heated butter. I mean, it's the one time you can indulge in butter and not feel super guilty. Exactly. Regret it later, just not at the moment. <laughs> mm. That is wonderful. And the nice thing about the lobster, too, it's not too heavy. So it's a nice contrast, too, with the steak. Yes. Right? So you can get twins for $86. Ah, you get twin for a lobster. Right, but if you just want uh, the side, which we got, it's $44. So something we learned about the beef they serve here is basically aged to perfection. So what they do is they have this in-house sort of glass cooler. They age it to about 21 days. Now why 21 days? Yeah. Instead of in Vegas. 21. Bingo. 777. <laughs> <laughs> of course we had to get dessert. And on tonight's menu, we went with the Bananas Foster and the famous Junior's Cheesecake from Brooklyn, New York. Let me tell you, they were absolutely delicious. You know, there's truly something to be said about a place where the atmosphere, food, and service are all in alignment. Woo! All right, so I am stuffed. Oh, I am so stuffed. <laughs> so let me ask you. Sure. So what do you think of this place? Oh, what did you think? I will say this has been a fantastic evening and yes. you can't go out with a bang without having the espresso and Ooh. Frangelico. So before we wrap this up, should we give this a try? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Cheers. What are you going to start with? I'm gonna, I, I, you know me, I like a little tart than sweet. You might like a little sweet than tart. I'm going sweet then. All right, here we go. Ready? Let's try it. Mm. A little espresso, a little Frangelico. Mm. Mmm, that's good. Oh my, oh my. That's nice. That is definitely a way to call it an evening. Welcome to Hugo Cellar, you guys. We're so excited to finally give this place a shot. Now, a lot of you have even suggested us to give it a try. We were this close to doing it last time you were down on Fremont Street, but we had to make a change of plans. But we're excited to be here tonight. Yeah, it's gonna be a great night tonight. One of the older steakhouses here in Las Vegas, and one of the really the best restaurants downtown. We're gonna test that tonight, let you know what we think. Yeah, and it's off to a great start for a couple reasons you probably saw. The moment you walk in, they hand you a rose. All That's you right. ladies out there, get your roses. And the theme is roses. Roses everywhere. Exactly. A little bit of beauty and the beast. Oh. Beauty and the beast. And my beast. <laughs> wow. Mm, love right. it. And so we've already gotten started here with a couple of our usuals. And what's that? Yeah. Well, we got some old fashioned here. But it's served differently. I've yeah, never look seen at that. it served this sort of like mini goblet style. That's pretty cool. It looks cool. Well, let's get this party started. Cheers, babe. Cheers. All right.
All right, so we've placed our orders. We're actually uh, going something what we normally do here. We're going to share a ribeye. Now, the ribeye here is actually bone out. out. Supposed to be incredibly tasty, though. 16 ounces. We've ordered at medium. It's $63, the 16 ounce bone out ribeye. Yeah, 16 ounces is still quite a bit of meat. Right, should be good. And yes. plus, on top of that, we're going to go for the Australian lobster, lobster. tail. Right, which should be very nice. Now it's eighty dollars yeah. for a single lobster tail, so certainly not cheap. You can you can get two for was it like one twenty five? One twenty five for, for two. two, right? And we decided to go for the single. Yeah, and yeah. they're pretty nice sizes, and it's still considered. You know, these both do come with uh, some great add-ons. Right. Part of it, which one? You get this wonderful bread platter that you see here on the table. Um, you get a salad made to order at the table, which is pretty cool. That'll be great. Yeah, and of course it comes with like fingerling potatoes, garlic mash, and tonight's vegetable choice is white and green asparagus. Yum, yum, give me yeah, some. So we have a lot of food coming. There's a lot of food coming, but that's how we do it because we like to eat. It's going to be good. <laughs> Yeah, I like getting the table side salad to me. It just feels, I don't know. Right? And it's awesome. a little different too. It's more of almost like a table side salad bar that's prepared for you. I love it's pretty it. Pretty cool. Yeah. They kind of they run down the list of what items you want, mm -hmm. prepare it for you, mix it up really nicely. Yep. And it uh, looks good. Three different style dressings. I went with the Caesar. Right. Um, and it's interesting too because with the Caesar, a lot of times the anchovies base is right inside the dressing, which they do have, but it's a mild hint. So yeah, I threw a couple of anchovies on the side um, to see if that gives that little extra bite in the season that I like. Yeah, that should be good. And then also I went for the actually peppercorn ranch dressing. Give that a try. And it's kind of a simple kind of mixed salad with uh, romaine lettuce. Yes. Yeah. So let's dive and let's give it a shot, shall we? Very good, fresh ingredients for sure. They were right. We'd asked in terms of how in depth the anchovies were within the Caesar sauce. It's very mild. It definitely is very mild. I think it has a nice sort of flavor to it. Um, the greens are crispy, which is nice. I love the onion and all the different croutons. Just delicious. Yeah, no, I agree. This is now the um, peppercorn ranch is quite mild as well. Nice, creamy, not too thick as well. It's very good. I like it. Mm. So. Very, uh, and I had the added, uh, of course, crushed pepper on top, so very, overall, very peppery. And that Parmesan right. cheese? Oh yeah, Parmesan is nice. You got peppercorn, pepper, pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. The pep up your stepper. There we go, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the ambiance is really nice too. I love, you know, it's, it definitely has that romance vibe in it. It's very oh, yeah. dark, very subtle, very, right. aww. Oh. Right, one of the um, better romantic restaurants here, for sure. I think I had a little peppercorn. You probably did. Mm, nice and spicy. That's right, a little spicy. spicy. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, nice this is twist. So cool. Yeah, it's a lemon sorbet, which is going to help to cleanse the palate. That's right, cleanse the palate. Cleanse the palate for the upcoming deliciousness. I guess it's going to help wash out the um, anchovy breath going on breath. here. Yes, here we go. Let's cleanse the palate. Here we go. Cleanse the palate. Mm. Definitely lemony. Mm. Yeah, that is so cute. Right? Nice little twist. So much dessert good. already? Right? Wow. Yeah, this looks great, smells great. Uh, I mean, look at those lobster tails. They're humongous. Those are massive, Australian lobster tails, wow. and it looks really nice. I have to say, I'm actually glad that I got two of them versus the one. Yeah. Because you think about it, you're right, 80 bucks for one, 125 for two, hello. Two. Exactly. There yeah. it is. Yeah, definitely some better value there. And the uh, ribeye, boy, it smells excellent. We asked for a medium, we'll take a look at that in a little bit in terms of how they did on that, but it looks perfect right now. The mash, garlic mash, the asparagus, some mushrooms. Yeah, and I very good. really love the fact that they have the butter I love on that. top of sort of like the Bunsen burner to really keep the butter hot. So when you're lobster, because it tends to cool off fast, yeah. you just dip it in that warm butter and it brings it right back to life in your mouth. <laughs>
have to have you try this lobster. All right, sounds good. Give it a good whirl. And I, do, took a little yeah, and I do love that heated butter, like you said. Right, it's, it's nice and hot. Nice. Keeps it nice and hot. Absolutely, okay, sounds good. I think you might like Australian it. Australian lobster tail. I think you might like it. And definitely, uh, they do not skip on the size of these things. No, they're humongous. Mmm. Mmm. That is very good. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. Rice flavor. Excellent. Right? That is excellent. And a little sweetness to it as yeah. well. That's really great. The ribeye is very good too. Yeah. I think you should try a bite of that. I think I should. That there looks nice and tender. Sure, okay. A little juices. Some juices. There you go. <laughs> what do you think? Mmm. <laughs> it's got nice flavor. Right, nice flavor. I think it might be a little medium well. Right. It has a nice color. I'm gonna taste a little medium well. Right, we'd ask for medium. Um, and you know, I, I think it's cooked, mm -hmm. cooked right on. It's probably just to cut a little bit because you get more into the fattier pieces. Mm -hmm. Right, but uh, it's all overall a good piece of very uh, good. good piece of steak. I just took a little dab of that garlic mashed potato. Oh, that is yeah. so good. It's so creamy. The right amount of garlic. It's just delicious. Mm. Isn't that nice? It's very good. It's not too strong. Not too strong. On the garlic side, but it's good. Same thing with the thing Yeah, this is very good. Mm. The asparagus is good. You should try a little bit of mushroom here. Hold on. Well, you know I like the mushrooms. There you go. Do that. Mmm. Mm. Right? Mmm. Okay. You know, very nice romantic dinner. Great steak. You know, great, great lobster. lobster. Amazing company. Aww. <laughs> Amazing. All around. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, well, it kind of feels like a date night. Uh, exactly. Right? Yeah, Hugo Cellar is a great romantic spot. And like Tanya said before, it really takes you away from Fremont Street and downtown. You don't realize you're there. It's quiet, mm -hmm. romantic. Now, if you don't like roses, then don't, don't come to Hugo here. Cellar because roses are everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> they are. But I don't think many folks don't like roses. No, it's true. <laughs> Time to wash up. Time to clean. <laughs> we got here for dessert. We got apricots with chocolate like crumble on top of that, a little yeah. drizzle. Yeah, of course we got some chocolate covered strawberries. That's nice. Yeah, in a romantic spot like this. Let's start with the strawberry. That sounds good. I think I like that idea. All right, here you go. Yeah, feed, I feed you the strawberry. Oh, you feed me the I strawberry. I feed you the strawberry. Dip it in mascarpone, please. I, I like it. That, okay. I like it. Oh. Oh. Oh, there you go. Mm. All right. There nice. Go. The strawberry is super fresh. The chocolate, the drizzle, the mascarpone. You know, there's only one problem. Oh, what's that? There's only two. Right, I think you should have them both then. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry is so tender, and juicy, and sweet. It's very good. It tastes very fresh. Sometimes you get the strawberries that are kind of hard and tough and stuff, but this is good. Very good. I agree. I just don't know what else to say except, yo, yo, give me some. Come on, dive in there. White chocolate. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Ooh, I am stuffed. Oh, I am so stuffed. Well, let me ask you. Sure. Well, what'd you think of this place? Well, what do you think? Wow, so overall, I will say 
what a fun romantic steakhouse experience. Oh, absolutely. And one thing you need to factor in as well when you think about the price here mm -hmm. is that it is not a la carte. So many steakhouses, everything is priced separately. Here, the salad, the table side salad is included mm -hmm. in the dish. Also, the dessert is included in the dish as well, as well as all the sides. Yes. So overall, it's a very good value. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's a good value when you think about a top romantic steakhouse in Las Vegas. Yeah, and we have said this before, but we've learned in addition to that a lot of the staff, several of them have been here for over 30 something years, 18 plus years, and it definitely shows. Yeah, no, absolutely amazing service. When I first saw her, a black cat crossed my trail. Bad news and high heels made me go off the rails. That's right, we are back in Las Vegas for the reopening, and what a fitting way for us to get some tasty eats at the classic Peppa Mill restaurant and Fireside Lounge. You know, this place is amazing. Opened in 1972. It hasn't changed very much at all over no, the years. That's the point. That's awesome. It's been in so many movies. Yes. Great food. Huge portions. Yes, actually some of the movies, Casino. 24 hours a day, I have to let them know I'm watching. You had uh, Showgirls, which yes. is another tasty tidbit, I guess you would say. <laughs> but it's also just a, a really stapled place that they don't even change the menu for years. They figured if it's not broke, why fix it? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. So I think it is hot. It's about 102 degrees Ooh. out here right now. That's Vegas for you. But I bet you there's some nice, nice cold AC and some amazing drinks inside. Yeah, I am very excited. I'm so place. excited. What an awesome spot for the Las Vegas reopen. I know. Let's kick it off. So excited. This place is just iconic. This is Las We're preparing Vegas. Preparing for the pepper mail. Yes, exactly. What they have in here? Oh, six feet. Look at that. That is good. We're happy to see that. They take it seriously. And we actually called earlier. They told us that all employees are supposed to be wearing masks as well, yes. which Everybody makes us happy. And then, hello, how you doing? So how many? Uh, two. Turn it up, world. The uh, Peppa Mill is really known for its breakfast. So of course we had to get something on that breakfast side of things. And so what'd you get? Yeah, well, and we're gonna share everything. Don't forget. Don't yeah, the forget. portion sizes are humongous. Yeah, huge portions, right? Humongous. We're getting uh, corned beef hash yeah. with three basted eggs. Oh my gosh, that sounds stars. really good. Well, with actually, it's all gonna be together probably. With some fruit, right? With some fruit as well. Yeah, and I'm getting a gyro sandwich, which is gonna be really nice. We love gyro sandwiches yes. anyway. So it's just something that's classic, something that was also recommended for this place. And uh, I think yours was, what, 16 dollars yeah. And mine was like fifteen fifty. So it's certainly not cheap, but I, have, I do believe it's worth it. I mean, it's been here since 72, so come on. So much character, it's amazing coming in here. You know, it's great food, large, huge portions, yes. right? So expect to kind of take some food out with you or share it. I'm excited, and for cocktails now, we decided to get a little bit of cocktails. And now they do have a fireside lounge, which is kind of just cocktails and appetizers only. But we're, we're gonna kind of dive into this right here since we're getting the full fledged and just kicking things off here. You got something called Kiss My Cucumber. Just kiss My Cucumber. Kiss my cucumber. It's supposed to be very refreshing. Yes, so. now I'm gonna read it right from the menu. So Dave's got yeah, something where it's like, Hendrix gin, it's got, oh, bold melon liqueur, fresh lime, mint, cucumber, and soda. Yep. So that's definitely right up your alley. It's yeah, not it super is. sweet. And of course, I went with like a classic Mai Tai, and hopefully if it's a good Mai Tai, it's a strong Mai Tai. Are we switching up? Switching up. Switch it up, up on a little yeah. bit. A little there cooler on this side, so exactly. we give you that cooler, cooler spot. Yeah, that's it. But this is gonna <laughs> keep me cool. Oh, Cheers yeah. to the reopening of Las Vegas, baby. The reopening. Try mine. I'll try it in just a second. I think our food is good. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got some food. <laughs> food delivery. Thank you. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, that was killer. Ah, oh, perfect. Wow. That's awesome. Thank Whoa, you so much. Mama. Perfect. Wow. This looks awesome. All right. So the all food right, has all right. arrived. Can you believe this stash of Oh, goodness? it looks awesome. It looks amazing. I'm loving this guy right here. I love how, like, the hash browns, it just smells the aroma. Oh, so good. It smells so wonderful. And the egg. Yeah, the hash of those basted eggs. I can't wait to dive into that. I know. Right? These euros are unbelievable. Look at the sauce on these puppies. So I mean, good. look Woo. at that. That and those, but mm, nah, I know. The smell is amazing. So good. Look at the potato, the potato salad. salad. Nice. We're gonna dive what into this. What a good idea for the potato salad. High five up. High five up. Yeah. And the fruit. Nice fruit salad looks, I mean, looks, really, looks really, really good. Really fresh. So what do I start with? 
Yeah. Any, meeny, uh, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Any, meeny, miny, mo. My mother told me to pick the very best one right <laughs> over here. All right, okay. there we go. Ash Browns it, it is. Ash Browns it is. We got it. We'll move this to the side, maybe bring it on that end. You got it. Want to try a little hot sauce? Maybe. Oh, huh, I mean, that's a definite. Okay, that sounds good to me. But maybe I should control it, because I know you. Okay. <laughs> you <laughs> too much. Mice. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Oh, I might put too much. All right. Mmm. It really has a lot of nice flavor. The hot sauce really adds a nice depth to it. Mm -hmm. But the Absolutely. egg and the hash brown, not, I mean, it's like the perfect hash brown. It's like it really so old good. school. It I love the crisp, nice and crispy. Really good. All right, I don't know about you, but that hash brown, I'm stuffed already. I know, <laughs> me too. It's like a great dish to share. You know? Yeah. Unless you're like a monster eater. Yeah. It's like for us, it's perfect. It's perfect. I mean, they're not kidding about the portion sizes. The right. portion sizes are really nicely portioned out for sure. Absolutely. Huge, huge, huge. But huge that, that kind of makes sense with the pricing that you think about. One person split that. Yeah, that was what, $16.95. Exactly. Split that. I mean, that's a good value. Exactly. On the strip. And it's really good. Exactly. Well done. So, moving on to the next delicious portion here, we got our Euros. The Euros. With that nice kind of like. The blocky, like sauce, like tzatziki or, sauce. Yeah, looks amazing. And like the onions and like the tomato. And of course, this looks really creamy, this potato salad. It looks really good. Now, here we all go. Right. I'm gonna try to make sure I get all that sauce in there. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be a hot mess bite. Oh, it's, it's gonna, gonna be crazy. It's gonna be like all of my face kind of bite. Crazy. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. It's a nice blend of flavors. Yeah, it's I so can yummy. taste like. I love the crunch of like the, the white onion. Right, really had mm -hmm. that crunchiness. And the fact that they laid on, you know us, we like a lot of that sauce. Oh. Sometimes, you know, if you don't have the sauce, it must be a little, be a little dry. dry. Yes. So the sauce really just kind of bring it on home, like that dill. Yeah. You can definitely taste the dill in that yogurt sauce. Yeah, really good. Really, really nice. And the meat is done to perfection. It is, it's really, really well done. What I realized I forgot though, I gotta put on some hot sauce. You love your hot sauce. Yeah, this has gotta have some hot sauce because it's missing that little That little, little kick. kick. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try it too. Yeah, you'll like that. But it's really good. Mm. Mm. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. A little hot sauce. Mm. The same bite is still as consistent as the first. It's just good. All the way through. Mm. I think we did a good job picking out these dishes. Mm -hmm. Before we get really stuffed, yeah. what do you think about trying this potato salad? I want to try that it. looks good yeah. and creamy. I don't know if that's good as your mama's potato salad. But you I made your know. mama's and that was a really good potato salad. I'm going to let you be the judge of yeah. that one. Is it as good as my mama's potato well, salad? Well, I think there's one answer to that. There's only one answer, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not right. stupid. Here I might be go. dumb, but I'm not that dumb. <laughs> You're a smart man. <laughs> yeah, right. Here we go. Here we go. It does look good, though, I gotta say. It looks really good. Mmm. That is good. That's good. That's good. What did you think? Not heavy on the mustard? Yeah, not too heavy on the mustard. You really taste the mustard, but not too heavy. Potatoes are really nice, nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. Creamy smooth. I can taste like the bits, almost like they have like little red peppers in yeah. there. And then the cilantro that's kind of on top of that. So it gives a little kick as well. But that's really nice. And yeah, I like nice. the fact that it's thick. Like the potato pieces in there are really kind of, you know, you yeah. get like nice thick pieces. Yeah. All I right. gotta say though, your mama's potato salad, can't beat that. <laughs> <laughs> Tons of good music. Oh, boy, that yeah. is just what we need down there. Huh? Plenty of good stuff going on. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Ooh, I'm stuffed. Oh, I'm so stuffed. So, what did you think? Well, what do you think? <laughs> wow, so how fitting is it to end? Where we began in the hot ass parking lot of the Pepper Mill. Uh, no, absolutely. <laughs> and actually, yeah, we're a very well deserved dance. This place is amazing. It really is. The food portions are humongous. So, for the price and the size portions, we think it's worth it. it you can easily kind of share a dish between the two. Of you. Right, and expect to actually take some home, too. Yeah. We're taking some home. So. Oh, yeah. And some drinks. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, we hope you enjoyed our ultimate guide here to the top local restaurants in Las Vegas. And if there are some local restaurants you would like to see us try, please let us know in the comments below. See you in the next one. Bye.